Hi everyone, it's Michael here and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to creatively use dials inside a particular storyline and then we're going to recreate this pizza dial interaction step by step. I'll see you inside. All right, we're here in Articulate Storyline and we're about to recreate this cool pizza dial interaction. Now, you know how dials work. I assume you create a dial and uh, you, know, you can change its uh, rotation to 360 and uh, maybe you can you know, insert a, 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 um, a reference over here and maybe you can create some triggers so every time the user interacts with that and uh, gets to a certain value something happens on screen right yeah we all we all know how to use uh, dials in their most you know normal standard standardized way let's call it but there are some other more creative more interesting ways to use dials actually and i'm about to show you one of them so I don't know how new this feature is, but you can convert images or objects into dial, into dials. Uh, and in our case, uh, we've got this pizza uh, that we turn into a dial. So all of these assets, I got them from FreePick. Um, so it basically looked like this. Um, this was the um, the whole composition and I took this pizza exported it as a PNG and I took um, the information for every single kind of pizza and also exported it as PNG that that was all I did so you can find any kind of pizza composition you like on prepack and uh, and follow along by the same principle so let's um, let's insert our pizza here um, and let's try out this feature I was telling you about. So if we go to insert dial and we click on convert to dial, uh, this will turn our cool little pizza into a dial. Now we don't want this to rotate only 180 degrees, so we'll change this to 360. And now we've got you know, the full range of motion. Now, the other thing that we, if we play this, uh, the movement will not be very smooth, it will be quite jittery, uh, which doesn't look great. I mean, we can probably get along with this, but we're here to create some really cool wheel learning, right? So we don't want this uh, to look so unfinished. So the first thing we can do is we can create some additional steps. We've got six pieces, six different pieces, so maybe let's create eight steps for each piece uh, or slice. So that means 6 times 8, 48, and now we basically have a lot more steps which will make the, the rotating motion a lot smooth, smoother, right? Looks much better, but it can get even better and I'll show you how. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to create a reference, right? So go to insert reference and I'll select this thing called dial one All right now let's make this just a little bit larger so we can see it more clearly and now if we play this every time I rotate this this pizza the variable with okay so I must have selected the rock slider uh, it's fine so this is called picture one, All right? And this refers to something else. Okay, so reference picture one, let's go. Okay, let's test this one more time. All right, seems to be working now. Brilliant. From zero to 48. Now we need to also in insert some kind of a, an object to help us uh, better understand uh, what's the current position of the slider. So in this case I, I inserted a, a pizza cutter, so let's do the same. 
So go to icons, type in pizza cutter, and I will select um, maybe this one, for example. Next thing we want to do, we want to move it away from this, we want to rotate it about, about so it's, yeah, so it's facing uh, this way. And we also want to center it, or we don't want to put it in the middle. We just want to We want to put it in the middle, we don't want to center it. Okay. Now let's move this closer and this will be our reference point. Okay. We'll change the color of it in just a little bit. Now let's preview this one more time and see what's happening in the background. So this is position zero and we're looking at the marinara um, slice now so from zero until uh from zero to eight this is the whole range of steps that will basically um represent this slice of pizza and then from nine until 16 we've got the the mexicana right so what we want to do now is we want to change the settings here and we want this to start at zero okay and okay that's perfect okay next we want to change the background um, and I will use the same color that I used in the original slide. Okay, and let's also change the color of this icon. Maybe let's just, yeah, let's just make it white, whatever. Or, or we can use a color from the pizza itself, you know, to make it more. There we go, this looks nice. Okay, so basically, here's how it works. We will create a new layer and we'll call it Marinara. And what we want to happen now is we want to insert a picture, which is the information about the Marinara, which is this thing over here. And we want to position it nicely, maybe right, right about here. Okay, and we also want to add a, a nice little animation, maybe a fly in from left. And now we have to make it work. So we'll create a new trigger and we'll call it, we're not gonna call it anything. So show layer marinara when the dial turns picture one if its value is between 0 and 8. Okay. So now, if we play this, okay, if we play this, see what happens? As soon as I move the pizza or the dial, our marinara layer showed up because it's in the range of 0 to 8. As soon as I move it to 9, it will disappear. Or well, it didn't for some reason. Okay, let's create, uh, let's copy paste and let's call this. So, what's next? The next one is um, the Mexicana. Or Mexico whatever All right let's replace this image picture from file let's select Mexican perfect and now we'll copy 
we'll copy and paste this and we'll change it to Mexico when picture one turns if its value is between 9 and 16 okay so only the first trigger uh, will have eight steps basically every every next one will be with seven steps this is just how it works because we start at zero okay so let's test this out pizza millionaire shows up and then pizza mexican shows up as soon as we get to nine pizza mexican shows up right brilliant so now uh let me just fast forward with this okay i'm back um, what I basically did, and I just wanted to save you some time, I just created a separate layer for each slice of pizza and a different kind of pizza. And I just you know, copy pasted it, replaced this image with the corresponding image for uh, each kind. And then I also copy pasted the triggers and adjusted the, um, the value range. So first one between zero and eight and uh, the only one with eight steps and the rest of them are with seven steps um, and that's because we, we've got uh, <clears throat> we start at zero here so 9 to 16 17 to 24 25 to 32 33 to 40 and 41 to 48 so now let's test it out and see if it works right we start at zero and as soon as we move that dial Okay, we've got the pizza marinara as soon as we hit nine we've got the pizza mexican and then we've got the pizza capricciosa and then we've got pizza seafood we've got the pizza pepperoni and then the pizza margarita and 48 that's the end of the dial and we have to turn it all the way back to zero i almost forgot to show you how to make the movement of this dial super extra smooth right it's pretty smooth right now but we can make it even smoother now let's preview this one more time so you know it's pretty good pretty good i would say but so instead of creating more steps we can change uh, a different value and it's called the step value so currently it rotates one step at a time yes but if we change this to point one instead of one see what happens now we don't need to change any of the other values they will still work as intended but our movement will be super super smooth this time right that's the key here you can even take this further and change the value to 0 0.01 but i think this is good enough for now so anyway this was my last tip see you in the next tutorial so that's pretty much it guys um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. I will be posting a lot more tutorials. And if you are on LinkedIn, please message me and let me know if you try this for yourself. I'll see you in the next one.